Hello you guys, welcome back to another weekly vlog. It's freaking Christmas, okay, because Thanksgiving is now past. We're in the Christmas vibes and the Christmas spirit. So look what I got. I don't own a Christmas tree topper star. So this morning went to Target, got a star. Look how pretty it is. I really wanted an angel, but they only had one and it kind of looked like a stuffed animal. So I was like, mm. I got this one instead, which I thought was really pretty. Like it's gold and blingy and looks like snowflakes. Next year I want to get like a lit up one because they had lit up ones there at Target, but I wasn't liking their selection that much. Let me show you guys all the stuff that I actually got from Target the other day. I got mirrors for the room. Mirrors for the room. It looks so good now. Like the whole room has just like been elevated. You have to see, hold on. I'll show you after we do the star or after I eat. I'm starving. I wanna eat. I wanna show you guys the salad that I've been making. Been making, I made it once, but it was so good. Here's our star. Let's go top her on top of the tree. Wait. Oh. Oh my God, she's gonna fall. Oh my God, how is that supposed to stay? Got it to work. Now, if it stays is the real question. Look at that. <laughs> it looks so odd. Oh my God. What is that? I want to do like a basket, like put the tree in a basket. I've seen a lot of people doing that and it looks literally so freaking cute. So I think next year I want to do the tree in a basket. And I also want to do a pink theme because my last two years have just been this like red, white, silver theme. So I think next year I want to do a pink theme, either a pink theme or another tree that's pink. I'm already talking about next year. Bitch, let me stop. Okay, let me make this freaking salad that is so good. It's a chicken salad. I literally walk around all day and just like say freaking TikTok shit. It's a chicken salad. This is like a salad for lazy people, okay? This diced chicken breasts, like their little cubes in the air fryer for literally like six minutes. But I prefer the Target chicken over the Trader Joe's chicken. I don't know, maybe I'm just being bougie but i like the chicken that comes at target better than i like the ones at trader joe's so i always get my chicken from target the rest of the salad it's so simple and easy spinach oh this is my tuna wrap that i'm gonna eat i'm gonna eat a tuna wrap as well i'm so hungry candied pecans and then this maple vinaigrette dressing now i wanted the raspberry vinaigrette but they didn't have it but this is really, really good. This maple vinaigrette. I'm like, I need to go back and get more bottles of this because I know it's only gonna be a seasonal thing, but it's delicious. Normally, if I wasn't starving, I would sit and cut the stems off every single spinach leaf. I have a weird problem with like the spinach, the spinach like stem texture. It literally grosses me out. I don't know why. It's like a texture thing. I don't know what the reason of that is. One fourth of candied pecans. I'm trying to get better about doing the serving size of things. Not everything, but some things, like I don't need to put the whole bag of these in there, you know what I'm saying? Trying to make my groceries last. My air fryer chicken, which is freaking delicious. And some maple dressing. It's so delicious. It's so simple and yummy and delicious. If I had some fresh strawberries, I would throw it in here too, because I, I love strawberries on salad. But, sorry, is that loud? Don't do that. You could put like feta in here, mozzarella. You could really put whatever you wanted. Actually, I think I have some feta that might be good in here, but y'all, y'all better come up here and get one of these. Look at this. Look at all these bottles. I hope that my bar cart comes by the time this video is up. It says it's gonna come the 15th, but like just come a little sooner, you know what I'm saying? Because why does it take so long? Amazon is usually quick. But anyway, I got all these freaking bottles. There's gonna be a bar cart in here once it arrives. I have to go make my bed. So I'm gonna eat this and then we'll go make the bed. I'll see you guys in a couple minutes. Well, I'm gonna make my bed right now, which actually brings me into the sponsor of today's video, which is Birch. Thank you to Birch for sponsoring this portion of the vloggy vlog. You guys know that I upgraded my queen bed to a king bed. So these girls, and they still push me off. Yes, it doesn't matter how big the bed is. <laughs> They're still gonna push you off. We have been sleeping in this bed for about two months now, and I 
love it. You guys, I passed out last night at 10 p.m. Like, I have so many good things to say about this bed. If you guys are not familiar with what Birch is, they are a mattress in a box company. Birch makes mattresses that are cute, comfortable, and environmentally conscious. They craft their mattresses with organic, sustainably sourced materials. I love this because it's good for the environment, but not only that, I know what I'm bringing into my home. I know that it's, you know, non-toxic and not made with chemicals. So I got the Lux mattress, which is a step up from their original natural mattress. Yeah, I've had this bed for almost three months now. I love it. It's such a dream. I love how it showed up at the doorstep. So it was so easy for me to just cut it open, put it together myself. You get a hundred night sleep trial with this bed as well, which is so nice. Cause if you sleep in it, you decide you don't like it, they will actually pick it back up for you. Each mattress also comes with two of their eco rest pillows and a 25 year warranty, which is insane. Like that's my entire life. If you guys are looking for a new mattress or just are thinking about shopping around, I highly recommend Bird. You guys can click the link in my description to get $400 off your first mattress and two free pillows. Thank you to Birch for sponsoring this portion of the vloggy vlog. Now let's get back into it. I ate my lunch, <laughs> but I want to show you guys the mirrors. Look at these. Oh my God, they're literally perfect. I literally wanted an arched mirror so bad and I wanted it like rattan. I wanted to match the, the lamps. Just can't even believe that I found them. It was literally exactly what I wanted and I've been trying to look for some online and they were just like either not what I wanted, um, they weren't arched, they were like not big enough, too expensive. I don't know. It was just like I couldn't find any perfect ones and now I Found them they're so cute sorry it's a little um dark in here it's so cloudy today I'm probably gonna hang them too so they're just sitting there for now there was something else oh i want to show you guys my flosser oh, i got so much good stuff from target yesterday i literally can't believe i didn't vlog look at this flosser from quip it's the same as my toothbrush i had to get like a new toothbrush head for my um like a refill for my toothbrush and I saw this and I was like, I have been wanting a water flosser. No, like you don't understand. I have to show you guys this, hold on. So you fill it up. It's one of the cordless ones. You fill it up. Okay. Watch this, the power that comes out of this thing. I can't believe it took me this long to get a water flosser and it's disgusting and I just ate so I know it's gonna be really nasty. How interesting is that? I needed that because after, ever since I got my wisdom teeth taken out, the pockets in like back where my wisdom teeth were, they get so corroded with food. It's actually disgusting. And every time I brush my teeth, I always make sure to like get back there and the pockets back there. Um, and it always gets like shit on my toothbrush. Like, literally iconic. And it's just like a recharge. Like it comes with the little charger. Iconic. How do I turn this off? Oh, goodbye. Anyways, I think it's off. Look at this freaking candle. Okay, I love that it's like has a concrete vibe to it. It smells so good. Run to Target and get this right now. It's $6. I feel like it looks so cute with my little bathroom decor. I have different ones. I think they have one called Pompous and willow and like a bunch of other stuff. But this one, my favorite, the salt goes freaking crazy. And so I just moved it over here, like in the middle with my hand wash and lotion. And over here, let me put my toilet seat down. Look at this little station that I have on the back of the toilet. Y'all, this shit goes crazy. So I moved the tray over here because I didn't want anything like falling off the toilet so i was like okay i have this tray let me just move this over here so i have some pads in here i like these ones these ones are from target these are the cotton oval rounds they're cotton is that what it says i think it's called the, like jumbo oval rounds or something like that so i get those and then i just had this little um like canister i believe it's from either tj maxx or home goods so I just put some in there. Then you guys know, keep the toner. I want to get a little, um, 
like soap dispenser thing for that but I just haven't found one that I like because I want it to be silver so it can match everything um and then this which is actually like one of the best purchases that I've ever made this little thing it's from freedom mom I got it from Target I've been wanting every time I go to Target to find one but they never ever have one when I was in the Bay Area they had it at one of the Targets there and I was like I need this so every time after I go to the bathroom let me like demonstrate how it works hold on after I go to the bathroom, if you're a mom, you probably know exactly what this is. But every time after I go to the bathroom now, number two and number one, honestly, like it's literally a handheld bidet. Watch. See? Wait, can y'all see that? The lighting in here is so bright. This bathroom has great lighting. But do y'all see that? So I keep this thing on the back of the toilet because before I do my witch hazel, after I poop and even like, sorry if this is like too much, but I'm trying to help the girls out, okay? But after I pee, just a little spritz, okay? Every time after I use the bathroom, doesn't matter if I peed, pooped, like if I pooped, you know, you gotta like angle it in there so it gets like on your butt. I got this one from Target, it's from Freedom Mom. I'm not a mom yet, but hey. When I become one, I'll already have the bottle, okay? So the rest of today, I'm just gonna chill. Probably just do some like cleaning stuff around the house. The laundry room needs to get cleaned. I need to go do that probably right now. And then I have Pilates at 6.30. You would think like, since you're sitting and laying on a reformer and you're like on your back essentially for a lot of the class, you would think that it's like not that hard, but babes, it is so hard. A lot of people have been asking me how I like it and I really, really enjoy it. I think that I'm going to keep going i actually noticed so many changes within my body like hold on i don't know if you guys can see this you probably cannot but my butt i haven't even been doing it for a month so i feel like the results they're there you know what i'm saying and they are quick for me i mean i don't know everybody's body is completely different but i feel like for me the results they're coming in and they're they're pretty quick you know i've only been doing it for not even a month now so when i went to target the other day to get my mirrors which i showed you guys i seen these chairs Okay, so I looked them up on Target. $200 cheaper than the chairs I originally wanted from CB2, first of all. Second of all, you cannot order them online. So do you wanna know what I did all day today? Drove around to fucking eight different Targets, but voila, here they are. So freaking cute. And then once I get the table, which is gonna be like a light oak table, it's gonna look so cute like you can't really see the vision now because obviously this table is too small and like I can't push them in because look how big like they're so much bigger than the actual table but like I'm sorry who the f is paying $430 per chair at CB2 I'm not trying to pay like $2,000 for just the chair you know just the chairs not even the table so these look almost identical to the ones that I wanted. It's just the ones I wanted were all Sherpa. These ones have black rods as the legs. So that's the difference. But the bar cart that's gonna go right over here, once it comes in, has black legs. So I thought that it would match. Like I wasn't too, you know, I'm not that picky. Yours looks so good. I clean this one because it's a tiny little bit dirty. But, I was like, whatever. Been to so many Targets today, I'll deal with a little dirty one. I can't really see it on camera. No, it looks pretty clean on camera. But there is like a little bit of dirt right here that I can just wash off. All right, the next exciting thing that I have to share with you guys is I finally ordered the farmer's dog. I don't know if I told you that, but I ordered the farmer's dog for Harley and Sadie. And, oh, it comes with like plates and stuff. What the heck? And it comes with a bag? Oh my god. Sadie's recipe. Sadie has beef, pork, and what else? Beef, pork. I don't even know what else. All I see is beef and pork. Oh, and turkey. Beef, pork, and turkey. And I think Harley has the same. Beef, pork, and turkey as well. Anyways. It's half a pack a day, 
keeps in fridge for four days after thawing, stores in freezer for six months. So you're supposed to store them in the freezer and then every day, I guess, pull one out. That's what I'm assuming. I think what I'll probably do since they're, they're all exactly the same recipe. So I'll honestly probably just take one out, let it thaw all day and then give them like half to Sadie, half to Harley because that honestly just works better probably. <laughs> you know, instead of opening like different packs, but yeah. Then we got one that says Harley's. So cute. I just did like the trial thing. Cause I guess if you do the trial, it's half off. So this is, should be 14 days of food, but it's pricey. So these girls better love it. Okay, or I'm canceling this and subscription you can like go on there and change the recipe if you want like a different recipe like i wrote for next time that i want them to have chicken and then it has the feeding guide oh that's cute look harley and sadie's feeding guide that's so cute oh it's telling you how that you should feed them so they don't get diarrhea how to transition them we'll see if they like it because harley has been getting really picky i think they both kind of have so i'm thinking that that they do not like the food that they've been eating anymore but i don't want to have to keep switching them so this is like human like people could eat this food you know what i'm saying this is like human food so i'm thinking that they'll like it because they like anything that's like a human food you could really like make this up in the crock pot for cheaper but i wanted to try this out and I think it's cute. We'll see. I don't know. I'm to find room for these in the freezer. Because I don't even know that there is room in the freezer for these. So, we'll see. I thought that was exciting. I'll keep you guys updated if they like it or not. Because I know that I said in previous vlogs back that I was going to get it for them. And I finally did. Hello, y'all. It is Sunday. You know what that means. <laughs> it's a reset day. Um, I need to do some laundry right now. I want to call and try to make a sauna appointment because y'all, I'm trying to get back on my shit, okay? I'm trying to get back onto like my, I don't want to say healthy, but I want to say like consistent. Like I want to get back on my consistent shit, you know what I'm saying? Just like being consistent with like the sauna, the gym, like eating more vegetables. I don't eat bad. I just have a lot of Starbucks and not a lot of vegetables. That's my two downfalls. Other than that, I eat really balanced, I would say. I like fast food too here and there, but I don't eat it that much. Maybe like once a week. So yeah, I've been really good about like everything else. I'm just trying to get, you know, with the new year coming, I'm very much into New Year's resolutions. I know a lot of people aren't, but I think that they're just great. Like, I think a New Year's resolution is something great to make. It's never that deep, you know what I mean? It's never that serious. It's just something fun that you can, like, try to do for the entire year, you know? Mine is definitely going to be, um, well, one of them. I always make a bunch. I always make, like, at least five. So one of mine is that I want to be more consistent with, like, the things that I'm doing. So, yeah. I really want to go to the sauna. I want to go to the sauna once a week. I've been loving Pilates. Like, I'm definitely going to renew my thing. It ends in a couple days, so I'm going to renew my month. Yeah, today's pretty much just like a chill, clean day. There was some work that I needed to get done, but the work involved, like, taking photos, and it's raining outside. Doing my laundry. Use the Method laundry detergent. Um, I've been using the Tide Pods, but I ran out, so I'm just going to use this method which I love get mine from Target using the Tide Pods um and I do like those too I'm gonna buy some more of those but I like the method just because there's like less harsh ingredients it's just like I don't know I have really sensitive skin so I feel like the Tide can be really really I just turned this off I'm a fucking idiot <laughs> um I feel like the Tide can be like overpowering. It's really, really strong. Um, so, yeah. Look at the mess in here. Boobs. Like, fold that shit. Like, what are you doing? <laughs> Good morning, you guys. 
Let me shut this window. Because it's kind of loud in here. Hold on. Gotta shut the window and the door. Good morning, guys. Right now, I'm getting ready to take a photo for a brand sponsor. So I'm just doing my makeup. This is my first time trying it. The Positive Light Tinted Moisturizer from Rare Beauty. They sent me this ages ago and I'm just now trying it for the first time. <laughs> it's just as good as the Ilia. Like the effect that it leaves on your skin, so good. But you have to pair it with this. Literally, before you guys do your makeup, I'm gonna buy bottles of this. This is like one of my holy grail products. Like literally bury me with this product. It is so good. Get Even Sun Milk by Josie Moran. I also got some Pacifica PR and they have a daily, like everyday lotion too that has sunscreen in it. So I'm dying to try this one out. Um, they sent me like a whole little PR package which was so cute. This, this Rare Beauty um, moisturizer so good like i would say that it's just as good as the ilia one and you guys know i love that because i don't wear a foundation i gotta stop telling all that like if you watch this channel you fucking know like bitch you don't get a prize that was such a big part in my skin clearing up though is one not wearing makeup every day and two stopping wearing foundation like now i just use stuff like this that's like the tinted much and whoever uh matched me for this color did a great job like, I don't know who picked this color out for me, but they fucking did that. I have really yellow undertones, so people usually get my color wrong. But I'm a color, if anyone wants to know, I'm color 22W. So that's me. And I glued my brows up with this 24-hour brow setter by Benefit. Love this stuff. Will rebuy it. Then I'm going to use Rare Beauty Blush. I love this stuff. Today I'm going to use the Encourage and this one's pretty dark, so I think I only need one little dot. I love the like plums, the purples, all that stuff for the winter. I just feel like it's perfect. You know, it looks, I feel like it looks good on everybody too. Like the darker shades, I don't know why. Like if I see someone wearing a darker lip or a darker blush, I'm like, yes, like that shit looks so good on you. Like I've literally never seen somebody that looks bad on. Fenty Beauty, my contour stick only contour stick that I feel like doesn't turn my face orange. This is like the lightest one, or not the lightest, it's just the first one. It's called Amber, number one. The color, this color just works for me. Um, so I'm gonna do it on my forehand, just like that. Let it be right here, just like that. Go down here, just like that. And then sometimes when I'm feeling like extra, I'll go right here because this is supposed to like lift and then I go like this just to give my nose like a more um cutesy effect I have really gotten into loving my nose I used to hate my nose because it um I don't know if you can see it's like kind of bright in here let me see how high the brightness is actually yeah let me turn you guys down a little bit so you can really see. Okay. Um, it has a little pop. But then I like really, really wanted a nose job. So bad I wanted a nose job. And then <clears throat> I was looking at people that have the same nose as me that I love and that I think are beautiful. I, like literally just like all of a sudden started loving my nose. So I don't know if that was like a phase I was going through where I just didn't like my nose. Sometimes I see pictures and I'm like, damn. <laughs> That shit's looking huge today, but it doesn't bother me like it used to, you know? Like it doesn't bother me to the fact where I'm like, I need to get a nose job. I'm just like, damn, the beak is out. I don't feel the need to change it, if that makes sense. When like a few years ago, I was like really looking into wanting to get a nose job. And like I said, I'm not against that at all. Like I think whatever you want to do, it's your body. Like do it you know what i'm saying i just like wanted to give myself time to see if i would love my features before like you know surgery you can't take that shit back and now i love my nose because it is imperfect it sounds so corny but like it's true it's not the perfect nose you know but it fits my face so it's perfect for me just going with this fenty beauty 
I've had this so long, like this cannot be good for you. Like this cannot be good anymore. <laughs> Kilowatt foil, it's the sandcastle and the minted mojito. It's like the little, this thing. It's that little shade as a highlight. And then I just like put it on my eyes a little bit too. But I use it as a highlight on my nose because I feel like it looks good. Um, it's got, it's a little a bit more like rosy gold. So I feel like rose gold tones for highlight are really good for this time of year because, you know, again, with the fall tones, it's like more pinky than bright. You know what I'm saying? I love like a bright gold for summer, but I love a more pinky highlight for fall. Go into curl my lashes and do some mascara. I tried this once and I didn't know that I liked it. So we're gonna try it again. Um, I think it might've been because my lashes were wet. What I do like about this mascara, this is the Dior Dior show. What I did like about it though, it didn't clump at all. That was like one of my main problems with the Better Than Sex. Love that mascara to death. It's like always gonna be one of my favorites, but it clumps a lot on me. And I have like pretty decent lashes, but I feel like they're kind of thin. And so they clump really easily. So I was wanting something that didn't clump. And I feel like this doesn't, I don't know if it gives me that volume that I like. I don't know, we're gonna try it again right now. See if it's any better. I always curl them again after they have mascara on. I know you're not supposed to do that because people are like, don't do that because they have to pull out your lashes. Bitch, I don't care. I don't care. It's like I can't. No. They need to be curled again because once I put mascara on them, the curl falls. No. I have another lash curler specifically for after I put mascara on. Hold on. Deodorant break. I'm going to use the Fresh Mistletoe from Native. I love like keeping up with the holiday scents. So the two that I got for the holiday months is sugar cookie and fresh mistletoe. Chef's kiss. And then I'm gonna use Rare Beauty lip liner and strong. A lot of people were asking me what I was using on my lips a couple videos back. This this lip liner is so good. Summer Fridays lip balm in vanilla. I don't like it too harsh to where it's like super overlined. I just like it overlined a little bit and then kind of mixed in. All right, y'all. I'm ready to go. Let me zip this up, cause what the? I should just be hangling and dangling all over the place. I wanna wear a necklace, but I don't know. A little heart. Got it for Valentine's Day from my mommy. Growing up, my mom used to always get me a piece of jewelry for Valentine's Day, so this is one of them. I don't know how to put it on though. This is what I'm going to take the photo in. Amazon. Glasses. I'll catch up with y'all later. Ball cart's here. Cabs are here. <laughs> Cabs are here. Cabs? Cabs. The Cabs are here. From Jersey Shore. Uh -oh. You never watched Jersey Shore? That was my shit. Cabs are here. Crabs are here. <laughs> Not crabs. Just took Carly and Sadie to the park. Uh. They had a good time, and now, oopsies, I got the notification. Notification, yeah. It said the location, whoa. That the bar cart, oh God, is here. I have Pilates in a few hours, let's see. Yeah, oh, I've got plenty of time to do this. It's only 1.45, my Pilates is until 5.30. Sorry, it's kind of dark in here because it's cloudy outside. We're kind of getting a winter in California this season. Kind of. Like it's cloudy, it's kind of cold. God, don't tell me these are the screws and all. That's a big ass box. So excited for this. I ordered like a decorative book to go on this cart too, but that's not gonna be here for like, I don't even know when that's coming. They're a lot more gray than I think I thought. I thought that they were white. I guess it's supposed to look like a stone. I think it'll look cute when it's done. But I did not think it was gonna look like that. Maybe just a half a drink more. I really can't stay. It's cold. Isn't that song people like tried to cancel that song? They did? Why? I don't know. I guess it's kind of creepy or something. Yeah. <laughs> yeah, I guess they were saying it's giving like pedophile vibes. Yeah. I can never keep up with shit. Everyone getting mad at me for my 
fucking like Balenciaga glasses. How was I supposed to know that that shit was gonna happen? You know what I'm saying? Like, how was that? Everybody, after I showed my little Black Friday haul, everyone's like, oh no, girl, not the Balenciaga. Like, bitch, I didn't make the campaign. How was I supposed to know that that shit was gonna happen? And then people are like getting mad at me. Like, go get mad at fucking Balenciaga. Don't get mad at me. Because when I bought them, I surely didn't know that there was a scandal going around. Actually, it's not for the scandals. Actually, it's for the people. Actually, for the people, 2024. What? <laughs> I would be a good ass president. If my mom was president, she'd get up there and be like, hold on, I'm having a thought. I'm fucking high right now. <laughs> I'm getting high right now. Hold on. Everybody just needs to feel the love. I want to see a woman president before I die, though. That's something that I do want to see. And for everybody that comments, I see like women comment and they're like, a woman could never be president. Bitch, why do you hate yourself? Maybe just to have a drink more. I guess when you listen to the song, it's actually kind of creepy, I guess. It is? Yeah, that's what people were saying about it. I was like, what? Fuck, now I gotta listen to that song. Yeah, turn it on. Okay. I can't keep up with all that stuff. I was literally telling my mom this, like, if you think that I've heard about a scandal, I promise you, on God, I have never heard about it. Like, literally, I just don't, I'm in my own world, which is actually probably not a good thing to do. It's really good to, like, be aware. I'm just, I'm, like, in Ashley's world, you know? Like, I'm aware of, like, current events and stuff, but I'm just not aware of, like, people being canceled or, like, why are you laughing? Oh, wait! Uh, wait, it's not, baby, it's cold outside. It's, it's a Santa baby? It's Santa baby. <laughs> oh, that's the one that I was gonna say. I was gonna say, sure it's not Santa baby? It's Santa baby. Okay, Fuck, yeah, I'm getting them all. That one is super like, yeah, that that one, okay. It's sketch, wait, yeah. play that song. Santa baby, burning down the chimney. <laughs> <laughs> I know. Yeah, that one, definitely. Okay, here. That one's bad? <laughs> I'm saying. Coming down the chimney tonight? Oh, is that like a nasty <laughs> term? <laughs> I don't know shit. Y'all know that the Shrek song, Hallelujah, is literally talking about sex in there? Talking about, I'm gonna strap her to the kitchen chair. I'm like, what the fuck they put this? She's like, how did they put this in a kid's movie? And I'm like, oh, they definitely did not put this part in the Wait, kid's what? movie. bring in the reinforcements because I literally couldn't screw anymore and my hands just couldn't do it. You're ready to start some little construction project. Two bitches screw. <laughs> oh wait. <laughs> that would definitely be a plus on plus. We're driving down the street and I saw a cop and I said, or a police officer, and I said, oh, here comes the fuzz. And Ashley said, what the hell is that? And I said, the fuzz, that's what they used to call the police back in the whatever, 70s and 80s. And you know lingo now, like, yeah, yeah. I've never heard that. No, like, so I said, look it up, it's a thing. So she looks it up and she goes, and it's a thing. It's a thing. Like, they used to call police the fuzz. <laughs> But you know on Urban Dictionary where like, it'll give you multiple things for like what it is. So obviously I just looked up fuzz and it, number one it says, oh the cops. Second one underneath it was fuzz on fuzz. <laughs> and fuzz on, if you, I mean you guys can kind of see where I'm going with this, right? Like I didn't know what it was so Ashley's like- So I'm yeah. reading it off to her and it's basically Fuzz on fuzz. fuzz on fuzz, you know, two bitches <laughs> doing a fuzz. <laughs> Learned two meanings for the fuzz that day. <laughs> I'll call your pubes that. <laughs> Miss Fuzz. <laughs> That's what I'm gonna call them. Yeah, I'm letting my fuzz grow. <laughs> I just trimmed my fuzz. <laughs> Nobody wants to see the fuzz that I got going on in the back, though. That's more than a fuzz. That's a fuzz.
Jungle yeah, squat. Yeah, that's a squat in these woods. I don't have that. Yeah, <laughs> that comes from my dad. <laughs> my mom doesn't have the ass hair. I know everybody's dying to know. I want to make the top of the bar cart my coffee stuff because it just wasn't working on the buffet. Like, I put it down and it got like a watermark on it, like a ring mark, and I was like, oh no. Because the back, like, it kind of leaks a little bit. Just like a tiny bit, like when you go to change it. And since that thing is painted now, I just don't want to deal with any of that. So I'm going to make the top for coffee. So I'm going to put all the coffee stuff on there. I ordered a YSL book, the pink one. It's so cute. I thought it would be a cute pop of color, but until then, we're going to put this book. Okay, bye. That's falling out of it. This book has a filler for now, just so I can see what it would look like. Got lots of glassware. These ones are like from the, where, what are they from? The 40s? So these ones are more unique. I don't want to hang these. I want these to be on like display. Ordered a decanter set as well. Like for, I guess brown liquor. I don't know what goes in that. Can you put anything in that? Or it has to be. My mom doesn't drink. She didn't fucking know. Don't ask her anything alcoholic of the related sorts. She's going to say, I don't partake in the illegals. That's her favorite phrase. When it's not even illegal. Because you're over the age of 21. And in some countries, 18. I got shot glasses. So these are going to go on the other side. And I've got this little shaker. The shaker and the little shot thing. I want to get an ice bucket too, but... For now, that's what we got. I think I'm gonna put the decanter set right here when I get it and then move this like back there, probably. Yeah, okay. Hennessy, Smirnoff vanilla. Smirnoff is my favorite, I'm a cheap day. Okay, I did used to drink vodka. This is a, ch this is a cheap bottle, but I love Smir like no one can tell me vodka shit. Vodka and grapefruit juice. Vodka and a Sprite. <clears throat> got me feeling nice. Kinky. Which is literally the best drink. Run and go get this what? if you're over the age of 21. It's so good. It's like such a fruity drink, uh, but it's like so a good. Slammer. Yeah. What? The f is a slammer. She's talking about lingo that I don't know. She's talking about the foes. Stella Rosa, the berry, because I never had the berry. What do you mix with the Eddie? A lot of people do Coke. I don't like that. I only bought that because he likes it. So this is what it looks like. Oh, it looks so cute. It's just looking dull right now, but. Once I get like, I don't know, some more books, a little more decor and all, I think it'll look so cute. Don't mind up there. I'm gonna eat you. Harley and Sadie had a hygiene day yesterday. I did their nails, I did their teeth, I did their ears. They got some lotion on, cause they get dry skin, cause it's so cold here. Huh, did you love that? I wish she was like as nice to people as she is like this. Like every time she sees somebody, she has to bark. Why? Like she loves people. I don't know what that is, you know? So I need to take her to some training so she doesn't do that because then people are scared of her and they don't want to be near her. But I'm like, oh my God, I know she looks crazy, but she loves people. I to give you guys a haul of everything I got from the Sephora sale. They were doing a 20% off sale for all beauty insiders. And I became a rouge today, period. Tons of stuff, so let's just go through it. Two Dr. Jart masks. These are the vitamin C and the hyaluronic acid. Never try them, I can tell you nothing about it, just that they look cool. I might go, I wanna get one, but I never do. So this time I was like, fuck it, 20% off, I'm doing it. Dr. Jart BB cream, this is for my mom. She wanted this, so this is part of her Christmas gift, period. I'm getting the shit for cheaper. So got this rice wash from Tatcha, because my mom said she wanted the full size of this, because she has like a little travel size, also for Christmas. I also got her a dewy skin cream, some Moroccan oil dry shampoo. I heard that this dry shampoo was really, really good. Now, I also heard that the Living Proof dry shampoo was really, really good, and I didn't like that at all, like literally not one bit. So I'm literally dying to try this. I like most of the Moroccan oil products, so let's see if that's a hit or miss. Another one of my favorite body scrubs, the Way St. Bart's, the best one. I love the Melrose Place too, but the St. Bart's, it's just the best one. I'm sorry, like it's just the best one. This is my favorite body scrub of all time, of all time, like literally the Holy Grail body scrub. Also got a Tatcha lip mask. I don't know. I didn't need this. This wasn't something that I needed. I just thought it was so cute looking. <laughs> just 
just think it's so adorable. It says peach lip jelly, Japanese peach lip jelly. I have to hoard lip products. It's a disease at this point. Last thing I got, yeah. The last one of the Fenty Skin Butter Drop Shimmering Whipped Body Cream. Okay, this is the one that I was talking about in the last, I literally did a Sephora haul in the last video. Sorry, I know that this shit is like getting repetitive, but this is my life. I had to go to the sale because I wanted to get um, these things for cheaper because Christmas is, it never gets any cheaper, you know what I'm saying? So I have the 20%, might as well use it for Christmas. This is what I was talking about in the last vlog. This is what I was talking about in the last vlog that I did not get to tr get because it was sold out at the other Sephora and this was the last one at my Sephora. So right now we're about to do a test on camera. Let's do a sniff test. Oh. Why is that doing that? Oh, it can like be refilled. Oh, what the? I guess that this is like a seasonal thing. Like it may never come back. So I guess um, that's why it's selling out everywhere because it's seasonal. Like they don't know if this is gonna be a thing again. It literally smells like a cookie. Ooh. It's not what I thought it was gonna smell like. It really smells like a gingerbread cookie. Like if I had to call it anything, I'm thinking like gingerbread house right out the oven. That's what it smells like. But it looks pretty too. It definitely does have a shimmer. Yeah, that is pretty. It feels so good though. And then since I hit Rouge, he like gave me a bunch of um, like little freebie stuff, like trial stuff. What is this? Some makeup cleansing balm. I've used this from the pharmacy. Laneige moisturizer. I didn't even know they made face moisturizer. Wait, what? And our Hermes spray. I don't know what that smells like. Oh, that smells really fresh and clean actually. Oh, that smells good. That's giving a nice luxury smell. It's called, okay, I'm actually not even gonna pronounce that. <laughs> um, Cause I don't wanna fuck that up, but this is what it's called. Oh, oh my God, I almost forgot to tell you. The new Fenty perfume, where is my phone? Cause I actually need to figure out what that is called. The new Fenty perfume. Let me figure out what it's called, hold on. They didn't have any that I could buy. I don't know if they were all sold out. I don't even know if it's in stores, hold on. Right here. Fenty Beauty by Rihanna. That's literally all it's called. It's literally called Fenty Beauty by Rihanna. It looks like this, this. They didn't have it at my Sephora that I went to, but they had the tester bottle. When I tell y'all that that fragrance is so good it's not strong at all though so i don't know if it's worth the money only because it's not super strong but like the scent is worth the money does that make sense like when you spray it it's one of those that's like i'm not sure that it will last all day like you might have to spray it a million times to make it last but it smells so good i was like i went and resprayed it on me like 12 times it smells so good. So I definitely think that that is being added to my Christmas wish list. Anyways, I'm gonna end this vloggy vlog right here. I love you guys, and I cannot wait to see you in my next motherfucking video. Bye, beautiful. Mwah. Love you. Does that feel like an invasion of privacy? It does, huh?